dear. So, so. Say hi, everybody. Sam? Sam? Where's Sam? Sam? Come here. Come here, Sammy. Good afternoon, everyone. I know it's been about a hot minute since I did a live video. So I'm here. This is Amy with 100 Plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. With our Sam and Sue bonded pair that have been with us for years after their owner was tragically murdered. Hi, Melissa. How are you, Melissa? Nice to see you. Sam and Sue are a bonded pair. They were five going on six when we rescued them from the Miami-Dade shelter. And we have had them, they are, um, they're 12 now, um, give or take. And they've been with us for years. It breaks our hearts. It literally, all they want is a person. They want to cuddle. They just want to be next to their person. They are the easiest, easiest bonded pair. It breaks our hearts that they're still here. Um, somebody had sent me a message the other day. Uh, are you still rescuing? Um, you know, I don't see you guys. All I see you is sitting around and not really doing anything. Well, shame on you. Um, I'm not sure if people understand what the true definition of rescue is. But when you commit to taking in a dog, you are committed for however long it takes to find them, not to mention re reviving them and loving them back to life after they've gone through the most horrific ordeal. Um, they lost their owner that they loved and adored. He was shot at an ATM, it was all over the news and we ran and got them out of the shelter to avoid them from being euthanized. Sam was labeled as aggressive. Uh, they've been with us, like I said, over five years. And that was not our plan when we ran to Miami Day to rescue these two dogs. Nobody else stepped up for them. They were terrified out of their minds. They had a family, mind you. They had um, the owner's mother, father, brothers, sisters, full family that went on the news and said how much their son loved his dogs. They were his life. And yet nobody took them in from the family. Um to make the situation even worse, they called animal control and animal control and got them out of their home where they lived waiting for their daddy to come home and grabbed them with catch poles and threw them on the animal control truck. Can you imagine how terrified these two were? And we, we ran, we got them and we've had them ever since. We have dealt with medical as they got older. They're on medications for arthritis. Um, they're scared of storms, so it's a lot. And we've committed ourselves to them um, for all these years. So for anybody that comes on and says, why aren't you rescuing the way you used to? Because we've rescued so many dogs that sadly did not find homes or were not adoptable for some reason or another. Um, and they're ours forever. So with a full house, uh, we have to be um, responsible and we rescue when we have space like we did with Max and so on and so on and so on. All the dogs that we've rescued over the years <clears throat> and find them their forever homes. Max alone was an abuse case, the Frenchie uh, that we took in just a few weeks ago and he just went through a surgery of $7,000 and he went to a foster to adopt home and is doing wonderful. But that's responsible rescue. We don't rescue dogs in bulk and throw them into boarding um, and just let them basically rot in a, in a kennel. They are here. We, we tend to them. We love them like they're our very own. Uh, so it's a lot of work. 24 7 around the clock from morning to night and it puts a lot of stress on us because it breaks our hearts we want to see them in a home this is not what we wanted for them i didn't want them to live here or in a room i wanted them to have their very own home and their very own person and their very own family although they are loved and adored as you can see um they lack they want for nothing but they would do so amazing in a home all these dogs that we take in, 
um, would do amazing in a home. Oh my God, Nessa, you're kidding me. I'm so sorry. Yeah, there's a lot, you know, guys, there's a lot. I mean, I scroll through social media and it is extremely heartbreaking what's going on. Um, I Like I've said it a billion times, it's a world I don't recognize. Uh, there's a lot of um, depression, mental illness that's going untreated. Uh, people are, are committing suicide left and right. I don't know what's happening. Um, and then, of course, not to mention the families that go through the loss of their loved one, but yet their animals, um, you know, they end up in the system if nobody steps forward. So I know you, uh, I'm sure you've seen it, not just Florida, but all states, that it is a dumping ground. People are just literally um, going to the shelter. It's not frozen. I'm just, they're not moving. Uh, so I'm sitting down and filming them as I speak with you. But... There's so many animals on the street right now. <clears throat> they're going to their county local shelter and the shelters are telling them they're full. They're not accepting animals. So instead of trying to find a safe place for their pets that they committed to, they're literally opening up their door and just dumping them on the street. And it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. These dogs cannot survive on a street. They can't. They are dependent on us for everything. Everything. So... Um, you know, we have Sam and Sue, we have Blake. Um, there's no reason Blake should not be in a loving home. He's an amazing dog. So we have the Muppets. Um, you know, we have our bonded pairs that are here. Um, and we have a, a house that's full. And when I tell you, we rescue when we have space and availability. That's what we do as a responsible rescue. So if you do support us, we thank you. Um, if you choose not to, that's your prerogative. That's fine. Um, we respect it. It is your choice. But we haven't gone anywhere. Uh, we are here as we always have been. We have rescued over 5,000 dogs, the most horrible cases of abuse and medical and spent, God, millions of dollars literally over um, 13 years, literally. So, you know, we do what we can to be part of the solution. Um, we're not here to collect dogs, like I said, and throw them into boarding or cages or kennels outside. That's just not how we do things here. Each dog that we rescue, we give them all of our love, all of our time, um, and we work day and night. So that's the, that's the reality. That's the reality. I wish we could, you know, I wish we had fosters. I mean, I see rescues begging every day and night. Please, somebody step up to foster. Please, foster. If you foster, we can save this life. And, and it, nobody's stepping up. There's just nobody stepping up. There's not enough fosters to allow the rescues to step up and go to the shelters or off the street and take in, in, take in these dogs. Um, I know, Amy, I'm not listening to the critics. I just had to address it. Um, for you that do follow us, you know how we do things here. We, we don't skimp on anything. Our dogs get nothing but the best, whether it's love, um, comfort, medical, uh, we don't, you know, ever, ever skimp on what their needs, what they need to make them whole again. And like I said, you know, five going on six and now 12 years. I mean, we still have Albert in foster um, for years. You know, I have fosters that I committed to over the years. Um, our little Misty, she's a Shih Tzu. Uh, she went, got adopted and I told her mama that if ever she came upon hard times, because she, you know, she lives on a, on a fixed income, um, like a, a lot of older people or when they retire. Um, and if medical comes up, I told her, whatever you need, please, if I am able to, I will always put up a fundraiser or try to help. Um, when Misty was adopted, our little Shih Tzu, she went home <clears throat> about a year and a half ago and she had cancer and we didn't know how long she had. Um, she went to the oncologist, she went to the doctors, she, she got everything she needed, but they thought spaying her might, might endanger her, um, cost her her life. So they said just to watch. Well, now she has a tumor coming out of her vaginal area and it needs to be addressed and she needs to be spayed. So she doesn't have the money to do it. And her and I have been speaking, Carrie and I, and, um, I set her up at Blue Pearl. So she's going in on the 15th. 
I don't have the bill yet. It's probably going to be a couple thousand dollars, if not more, um, with our discount. But she's going to be getting her spay and have the tumor removed uh, because otherwise she's a happy, perfect dog. So I'm not going to let her suffer because her mom needs help. So even after our dogs, 100 plus dogs get adopted, if the adopter um, needs assistance, we are always trying to do our very, very best to be there for our dog and our adopters. And many of you that have adopted from us that have needed assistance, you can vouch for us. You know very, very well that we would never turn away from helping um, our dogs, not to mention we've helped dogs off the street that we've never even seen people call us for assistance um, or people that own a dog and have come across really really hard times and you know if we're in a situation where we can raise funds to help them and save their dog whether it's a broken limb or whatever it may be we've done it countless times over 13 years so we certainly do our part um, and I'm very, very proud of this organization and what we have done over the course of the years. Uh, things have changed. We've moved. We're up here in Loxahatchee. We don't have three facilities. We have one. Um, donations are down all across the board with all rescues. Um, fosters are down. Adoptions are down. So we have to adjust to the situation, which is what we've done. And still loving on and still being responsible for the dogs we've committed to. But again, it definitely sets us back as to how many dogs that we can actually. Sorry, guys, got a little internet in internet problem. Um, yeah, so it does. It does. It does. It affects. It affects what we are able to take in when we are full. Um, so, like I said, Max, thank God, went to foster to adopt. And we will update more on that. He's doing fantastic after his massive surgery, $7,000. And um, we plan on going to the shelter this weekend to help another one or two babies in need. We have, you know, one space available, one spot available to help um, or two spots available. So that's our plan for this weekend, responsible rescue. As you can see, it's it's not sunny. It's not overbearingly hot right now because it's overcast. Uh, but Sam and Sue just love coming up here and hanging out under the tiki. Uh, it's cold on their bodies under the, on the pavers. So they just want to chill and be next to a person. Uh, they've been out for hours all morning. Um, do I have any small dogs? No, I don't have any small dogs that I can get to Pennsylvania, Janet. I'm sorry. Um, our protocol is we do not ship or transport out of state. Everything we do as an organization is in person. So if you are interested in meeting, you'd need to come here um, in Palm Beach, Loxahatchee. And we do a background check, a home check, uh, meet and greets with any existing dogs to make sure it's a perfect fit. But no, I'm, I'm sorry. We do not ship or transport dogs. I just, we don't do it. We never have. Um, and we just, it's just not something that we do as an organization. But I truly do appreciate you asking um, and, and your offer to help. So thank you for that. Thank you. But again, Sam and Sue, this is what you'd get all day long. It's cuddling on a couch, chilling out with their person, following you around, just wanting the love. You know, they're 12 years old now, so they're older. Um, they're a good-sized dog. Definitely no other animals and definitely no small children. Um, they're just set in their ways. They would do great with an owner or a couple and just, you know, if you had a fenced yard um, or if you like to take leisure walks, they're great on their walks. They love car rides. They're just really easy dogs. They're two couch potatoes is what they are. So... Guys, is that all you're going to give me for this video? So I come back from not doing videos for a few days, and this is what you've got. <laughs> you've got excitement. Exciting, exciting Thursday afternoon. But I'm going to go cuddle on them and try to get them moving around a little bit in the yard. Um, they, they look great. They look great. Their weight is perfect. Their coats are beautiful. A buddy. Yeah, it's just a good boy. I know, Sammy. It's a Sam Sam. So, so, where's your baby? And every time I let Susie out of her 
room. She has to grab one of her stuffies. Susie, where's your stuffy that you grabbed and brought up here? Susie, Susie, totally ignoring me. Totally ignoring me, like I'm not even here. But they're happy, so we're happy. Um, again, just wanted to address the comment. I know, Deborah. right? They're here. They're with us. People ask. I mean, they're like, you know, why don't you do more videos? I've done, we've done so many videos, so many still photos. They're on our adoption sites. Um, oh, hi, Tracy. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Uh, Darla comes and spends about three days a week with them. So they've got a person with them between them and Blake. She basically tends to the big kids. Um, and she goes back and forth for eight hours straight, which is awesome, three days a week. And then the remainder of the time, um, you know, they have us and they're up here in the yard and we, they get the amount of, you know, same yard time as all the other dogs and the loving and we'll go chill with them and hang with them in their, in their room. They have a beautiful setup down there. It's really beautiful. They have two massive rooms, a TV, um, a huge couch to cuddle on and chill on. So they're very, very, very loved. Um, that's not the issue. The issue is we would love to see them in their very own home because at nighttime when we shut down, you know, they're alone. They would love a person just to kind of be with. Um, and even during the day, the time that they're not up here, um, yeah, share them, share the video. I'm going to put up the information. I mean, this video is really not you know, doing any majorly justice because they're just chilling and they're not doing anything. Um, but that's what they choose to do. Then that's what they're going to do. Um, Tiffany is still on our board. She's still with us. She just, she took another job, um, for insurance purposes and, you know, the trans, the ride, um, was a little much on her. So she needed that and, uh, she's doing great. Um, and that's what counts. Everybody needs to do what's best for them. She she visits. She came up once since she left uh, to visit. And she's still and always will be a part of their life and a part of the rescue. People move on, guys. You know, so that's one person down. And then our volunteers that we had down um, in the Broward area that would come occasionally to see them or walk them. Um, they don't come up here because it's a 45-minute hour ride. So it's on us, um, you know. Um, it's on myself and Carol and Shelly and Keith and Darla. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, that tends to all of our dogs. So it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, and and they re they're, they're very needy. Our dogs, are. we've spoiled them very, very much. Um, so they're very, very spoiled and very needy. They get more attention than the average dog. I'm telling you, a lot of people that have animals do go to work for eight hours and leave their dogs home alone. And that's fine. Um, it works for them, but our dogs are not alone for more than a couple of hours at a time other than at nighttime when they're sleeping. So all day long, they are outside every 20 to 30 minutes throughout 6 o'clock in the morning till 8.30 at night. They're loved on. They get a lot of attention, a lot. So hi, Anna Jordan. Nice to see you. How are you? How are you? Hi, Carrie. I was just telling everybody about Misty. Um, and how she's going in for her surgery on the 15th. So everybody, please, please, please send your prayers for our Misty, our adorable little Shih Tzu that we rescued. Um, she had cancer. So hi, Christine. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, uh, Christine. And yeah, Misty's going in for surgery on the 15th. 100 plus is going to be covering the medical bill um, because she needs us and she has a tumor uh coming out of her vaginal area that needs to come out and she needs to be spayed and that will give her more time more quality because it's contained they don't see any other tumors so for that reason alone we're going to do the surgery like i said i don't have the estimate i will be putting it up on the page um and if anybody would like to contribute to help us with misty it would be so greatly appreciated so Please send all your prayers. Mario's fantastic, Stephanie. Tiffany always does her videos when she takes him uh, to his appointment. So when he does go for his next appointment, you will be seeing her uh, do that. She'll continue doing that and keeping you updated on Mario. Uh, thank you so much, so much. Um, hold on, guys. Thank you so much for your prayers for Misty. And again, I'm so sorry that this video is not too exciting. 
<laughs> I apologize. So I'll put it on me for five minutes before I shut down. Can I join your ministry? Hold on, guys. I need to get rid of this uh, person. Oh, God. I don't have a ministry. Thank you for your stars, Nana. Thank you so much. So again, guys, I wanted to jump. Thank you for your prayers. I wanted to jump on, uh, just catch you guys up to what's happening. You know, like I said, just because I'm not doing live videos every five minutes. And listen, a lot of these rescues that are on social media, they don't do videos. I don't see hardly any rescues doing the lives that we have done over the years. So I think we've gotten, we've definitely spoiled you guys with the lives. So when you don't see us, for a few days and you're like, where are you? What's going on? It's like, we're right here. We're just busy. We're doing our thing. Uh, Shelly and Keith just left this morning uh, in their home, getting their two days of rest much needed. This heat is kicking everybody's butt. It's been, I feel like 110, as you know, all across everywhere. It's not just Florida. So it's hot, hot, hot. Um, and we're all trying to stay inside and cool like they're laying here on the pavers, Sam and Sue, because it's overcast. It's not brutal. Um, I do have the landscaper coming very, very, very shortly. So I need to get everybody in their rooms and, you know, open up the gates so that everything's safe for the, for the landscapers to come in. They missed us last week uh, due to the 4th, so we had no landscaper. It's very long, very overgrown. The toads come out a lot more when the grass is long, so that's another obstacle. Um, yeah, <laughs> what can I tell you guys? So for anybody to think we're just chilling out and hanging out and, and life of leisure, doing nothing, uh, that's not what's happening here. No, not what ha I know the weather talk about. Yeah. Global warming. Guys, you got to hydrate because it is hot. It's still hot. Even without the sun, it's, there's like no oxygen in the humidity. And I was watching the news, which I hate. Um, but they were saying how many people are being admitted into the hospitals for the heat. Um, a lot of people are, are entering hospitals more than ever. It's, it's the, the highest temperatures that they've ever seen. They've ever seen. And then that sets in the whole hurricane season. You know, we're in hurricane. I can't do the humidity either. I am miserable. I, I stay in the house like all the time, all the time with the AC blasting. I can't handle it. Yup, exactly, and the dust, um, exactly. Uh, it's, 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 it's always something, right? It's just like every time you turn around, it's something else. So staying inside, keeping everybody cool. Good afternoon, Mona, nice to see you. <clears throat> but yeah, I need to get these guys in, which is not an easy task because Sam gives me a hard time every time I have to get him in his room. Ricky's awesome. He's my favorite thing in the world right now, of course, other than my wife and my other animals and the rescue but uh he's he's my everything i don't do anything without him i went and saw my mother the other day for a couple of hours on my day off and i brought him with me and she's like amy he's terrible he doesn't let you sit down for a minute he's quacking and quacking i said if he is not on my lap or in my arms it's it's bad he's spoiled um max is awesome i just did an update he is in a foster to adopt with another little Frenchie, which is a 100 plus rescue. And he is doing phenomenal. Um, he's going to Dr. Kesha, uh, I think Saturday, and he's getting his microchip and his uh, vaccines. And I spoke to Access and they said, if he's doing great, he doesn't need to come back to us. So he doesn't need to come back. So he's doing awesome. Um, our regular doctor is going to take a peek at his sutures in his nostrils and uh, in his throat, make sure everything is good. And Ricky's doing amazing. My heart, right? I'm telling you, he saved my life after I lost our Brody. He truly saved my life, that dog. I sleep with him. I kiss him 24 hours. I eat him alive. I brush him every day. I bathe him the other day in our shower. He's not a fan. Um, yes, I was so excited. To, I know. Shh, we didn't say where he went. We didn't say where Max went. We, we wanted to just keep it kind of quiet until we knew it was a really good fit, not to let anybody down, but so far so good. So um, I know a few people caught on with uh, 
the, her Frenchie's little face, our 100 plus baby. So yeah, she, he's doing great. He's phenomenal. He's perfect. He's absolutely, don't worry, Nana. It's all good. You know, it's all good. Oh no shit balls. Um, but listen, everybody just keeps going. It's, it's not an easy world that we're in. It's not. Um, I hate the divide. I hate the anger. Um, but you know, so I'm not going to waste my energy on it. I'm going to focus and put my energy where it's needed and where I can make a difference instead of focusing on anything negative. I will not feed it. I will not allow it in my life. No way, no how. Um, everything is peace, 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 peace. I find the happy in the little things and I, and I run with it. I run with it. Um, everything else, mm -mm, taking a back seat. Too old for the shit. So everybody, <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. It was great catching up with everybody. Sorry, it couldn't have been a, uh, I know it was a match made in heaven. Oh, we got, somebody got up here. Susie, stretch up, oh, back down. Yes, exactly. That's what I do, Nana. I stay home and I breathe and I cuddle my babies and the rescues. Um, you stay cool too, Cindy Graff. Thank you. Thank you. For anybody that missed us, um, anybody that has missed us on lives, we are here. We are fine. Um, yeah, the news is depressing. It's so freaking depressing. Ugh, it's nothing but negative, negative. And then I go on, like, I'll scroll through social media and that's another depression. But, um, we do have a couple of, uh, we had a, a friend of ours reach out with, she found a dog through the police department, um, and asked if we could help. It's a little dog. I said, you have to hold on just for a little bit. See if an owner comes forward. So far, no owner. This was, uh, I think yesterday. So the dog is safe. A little female, adorable little Maltese looking thing mix. Um, but I told her if she got stuck, no shelter, uh, that we would assist and, and take the dog in and find it a home. So I don't know what the status is with, with that dog. Um, Oh, everybody has to vote. Yep. I hate talking politics, but, and I'm not going to, but yes, you have to get out there and vote for sure. Absolutely. Yep. 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 Sammy, Sammy, you know, who's coming. You got to go in the room because the landscaper is going to be here. And this is a, tr this is like the hardest thing is getting Sam back in the room. Um, I have, I have Deborah, and then Noodles, that little dog on her computer. I don't know how I never saw her. I was scrolling and I was obsessed with her and I shared one of her videos. I was laughing so hard. It's so adorable. There's so many cute dogs, uh, people that have their own page for their dogs. It's absolutely adorable. I love it. I love seeing people love their pets that much. You know what I mean? Like we do. It's a beautiful thing. And there's still great people out there. And you have to just stay focused on that and just try to help where you can. That's all you can do. Hi, Denise Bergen. Nice to see you. The rain is starting to trickle. Oh, I've missed you too, D. We're here. Noodles is hysterical, right? And you know what's weird? I shared it. By accident, I shared the noodles video. I thought it was going on my personal page and it was on the 100 plus page. And I did share it on my personal page and it was taken down. Like she doesn't allow, the owner doesn't allow you to share it, I guess. So, oh well. Uh, I just thought it was really cute. But I'll still continue to watch noodles because she's adorable. So again, I just wanted to jump on and say hello, check in. Um... Yeah, that Susie stuffed animal. Every time she comes up here, she has to grab one from her toy bin and bring one up here. Miss you too, Megan, and love you back. Love you back. We're here. If we get quiet, guys, um, it's just because we're busy doing good poopies. Great for the landscaper. Hey, Ellen. Nice to see you. I know you saw Max went to his foster to adopt, and he's doing phenomenal. So when it's time and we know it's official, then we'll be doing a live video of Max in his new home for everybody. We just wanted to give it some time. It just happened on uh, Sunday. I think it was Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. So today's Thursday. Um, and everything's going perfect. So we don't see any reason why it would not be a definite. I can tell you that. And he hit the jackpot with, with our previous... I will say that. The jackpot. I know. It's the best. Well, our dogs only get the best or they don't go anywhere. You know that. 
So I'm going to go get Sam and Sue or attempt to get them in the rooms um, so I can get ready for, as you can see, this grass is a mess and we have the landscapers coming. So they'll be here shortly. But guys, I promise you, I promise, promise, promise I'll be back. Um, yep, it's worth the wait. And uh, again, like I said, Saturday we'll be going to the shelter in Palm Beach to rescue um, another in need. You guys all have an awesome day. Love you back. Stay safe, stay cool, stay inside. This is Amy, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. And please send your prayers for Misty, who's going to be going in for surgery to have a tumor removed from her vaginal area. She had cancer when she left us and we rescued her. Um, and she's lived a great year and a half, but she still has a lot of life left. And we're covering the bill, like I said. So if you can help by donating, the, the link is on here. Um, for those of you that has don have donated or sent stars, thank you so much for your help and your support. It means everything to these babies. We love you back, guys. Stay cool, and we'll see you soon. Amy 100 Plus, Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida.